Good afternoon, YouTubers. T-Square here with T-Square Talk. So, have I got a great recipe for you guys today. Today we're going to be making some stuffed mushrooms with spinach, cream cheese, and some habanero peppers. So to get started, the reason I'm doing this recipe is uh, I did a portobello mushroom the other day. A similar recipe. It was just the spinach and cream cheese. A lot of people love them, but wish they had a kick to them. So what I decided to do today was pick up a few habanero peppers. We're going to slice these up, devein them, seed them, and cut them up small. We're going to mix them in with the cream cheese, and we're going to stuff them in the mushrooms. Now, another reason I'm doing this recipe is the mushrooms. These are regular white mushrooms. Um, basically, when you use portobellos, the portobellos where I'm at right now are running six-something a pound. This package right here is a one pound pack and it only costs $2. So to lower the food cost average and still get an outstanding taste, I've decided to try these out today. Um, and then the spinach is just organic spinach. They actually had that on sale. Um, so I picked that up instead of frozen. Um, you can do either or. Some people are big into organic, some people aren't. Um, me, I'm a big fan of saving money and doing stuff myself. So. Well, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to pop open these mushrooms and start pulling out the cores and getting some room in there for some good stuff. So let's get that started. Okay, so when you're coring out these mushrooms too, uh, it's super easy. I like to use a small paring knife. It's easy to go around. You're just going to circle right around, um, around the stem basically, like you can see here. This one I already have done. I didn't pop it. And literally, you're just going to apply a little bit of pressure like this. Hold the mushroom. And then it's literally just going to, it's not even cut on the bottom yet. You're almost going to break the bottom. But look at that. Look how easy that comes off. Super easy. And then you might have to clean out a little bit because I had a bad break. Um, I don't recommend you throwing away the stems. And here's why too. The stems are great um, still. I'll end up cutting these up small and put them in omelets. Or if I cook up a steak later, I'll uh, have them sauteed on the side with some onion and mushroom. Um, so don't, don't waste it. I don't like wasting a lot of food. Um, but let's continue on. We'll finish getting these cored out and then we will cut up the pepper as you can see all the mushrooms are already cored next thing we're going to do is take the peppers and we're going to devein them and we're going to pull the seeds and the veins that way it takes a little bit of the heat away from it if you like spicy you can just pull the seeds and keep the veins if you really like spicy i mean some people will keep the seeds in there and everything i can't handle the spice uh, i'm a little weak when it comes to that um but make sure you wash these off. They have been handled in the store. So, okay, we're going to cut these up. Okay, and there you have it. All the peppers are finally sliced up. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put these aside and chop up some spinach because I'm using whole leaf spinach, not frozen chopped spinach. I'm going to chop that up. And there's not a whole lot of room in there, so I wouldn't recommend using... Um, basically whole leaves like I would do on a big portobello. Um, these are smaller mushrooms, so we're going to end up chopping up the spinach to get it in there and get a good mix. You're not going to need a ton. Just get a small handful out of the bag and finally chop that up. Try to chop it as small as you can. The smaller it is, the better it will fit in the peppers, uh, in the mushrooms, and that way you can get kind of better flavor to it. Okay, so we got the spinach all chopped up finally. Now, a minute ago I said peppers. The reason I said peppers is I was thinking about an amazing recipe that I have up right now on YouTube. Um, it's basically stuffed habanero peppers. They are so good. I have not had anybody ever complain about them. People are always asking me, hey, will you make me a batch? I'm doing a barbecue this weekend. Can you hook me up? You know, and I'll, I'll make them up for a lot of people. So um, I'm going to put a link, in fact, in the, in the description so you guys can check out that video next. Um, I recommend you try it out. They're really good. So the next thing you're going to want to do, get a bowl and mix all this stuff up. So I just put everything in a nice stainless steel bowl. Easy to mix it in here. I um, got my peppers, got my spinach, got my, sour, uh, my cream cheese. I'm going to actually add, I didn't mention this, I think I'm going to add in a green onion. I have a couple green onions sitting in my fridge. It'll bring a little extra flavor to it. Um, so I'm going to cut that up and throw it in here and then mix this all together. 
With these, just cut off the root at the end, um, wash them off, and finely chop it, and then mix them right in there. Now once you get it all mixed in there, it's going to look something like this basically. It's kind of like a cheese ball. Um, a lot of people will actually use these as a dip. Um, they'll just add in some more spices and stuff with it. I know HEB sells the cheese balls. They're really good too. Um, but then the next thing is you're going to break this up and you're going to get it in them mushrooms. Real simple to do. Just use a spoon and start cramming it in there. So let's get started. So I just got all the mushroom stuff. I have a little bit left over. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'll show you guys in a minute. I got a plan all of a sudden. So I'm going to show you what you do with a little bit left over. Well, I guess I'll have a little snack here in a few minutes. Um, this is going to be really good. These are some wheat crackers um, with the basically cream cheese ball. Um, but we got to get back onto our mushroom recipe and see how them are coming along. Now those look absolutely delicious. Um, they are ready to bake. You can put these in the oven at about 400 degrees. Probably take about 10, maybe 15 minutes. Um, just before you take them out, I recommend you sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese or a little mozzarella on top. You can put them on a cookie sheet with a piece of aluminum foil and they will bake right up fast and easy. Oh, and they are so delicious. One more thing too, when you do pack these mushrooms, don't go super high over the mushroom otherwise you will it can make a mess in your oven um, basically it'll just start running over the sides and they won't look as pretty when you pull them out so those look delicious can't wait to get them in um, like I said don't forget the cheese sprinkle a little cheese on just before you take them off they make a perfect appetizer I'm actually not gonna bake these right now I'm gonna bake them later this evening um, so which gives me another important notes tell you guys you can actually prepare these up in the morning the day before you get home from work you're tired preheat your oven to 400 and slap them in there i'm um, super quick super easy i preheat a lot of my i pre-make a lot of my food and that way when i get home from the gym i can just heat it up real quick and have it done fast so i thank you guys for watching if you've enjoyed this video please make sure you drop a like Leave a comment, and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell right there for notifications. Um, we're starting to do a lot more cooking recipes. We're really trying to grow the channel, so if you can tell a friend, it's really important to us as we're trying to grow our subscriber base. I thank you guys for watching, and hope to see you again on T-Square Talk for more great recipes. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.